So now that our quiz questions are in place, let's go ahead and insert a final slide, a result slide that will calculate how the learner does on these five questions and then give us a feedback score. So we actually need that initial slide before we can get in there and start customizing it with the uh, feedback meter that we created. So back up to insert, we wanna select new slide, result slide, and I'll work from the default graded result slide, the 80%, so just double click it. Up comes the properties. So we actually want to include all five questions that we have. Passing score, you can obviously change that. In this case, because of the way we're setting up the meter, we wanna keep this passing score in nice round numbers that are divisible by uh, five. That's what we set up, but if you were doing your feedback meter by tens, then obviously you have more options here, but 80% is fine for this example. Now options, we're gonna take a few things off when we customize the actual slide, the result slide, but you can leave everything on here for now. We just will have access to those text fields and dynamic text boxes where we can either delete or change them as we need to. So uh, for the options, just leave everything as they are. Click OK. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click my result slide. So here's a default result slide. The only thing that I've done to this project, right, is just kind of put in my own slide master uh, graphic, but the rest of this is how Storyline displays this when you first insert a uh, result. In the next chapter, we'll go ahead and customize some areas of this, the scores and the way we present the, the text, as well as uh, starting to get that feedback meter in there and then adjusting that based on the user's score.